Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 episode, continuing on where we left off yesterday. That's right. It's a two-part, and all my all my wood is still here. Same wood as yesterday, but continued on exactly where it was. So, no loss of wood. If you remember right, I was getting all of the ice wood, but we ended up running out of money, and I didn't have any more TNT. So, uh, it might behoove you, behoove you, to purchase three sets of dynamite if you're going to go and try and get all of the ice trees. And if you're just going for big money, um, chop down the tops or cho chop down like the base and the first. So uh, when you're looking at a tree, see the one that I'm holding on to right here? This is the base and then right up there, the first split, that's the, the first. That's the first split. So the little ones, um, they're still worth money but they're not as money worthy as the trunks or the base and the firsts because they're not as thick. Oh, that was a bad cut. Well, maybe, maybe. Was that a bad cut? I don't know. It could be, could be a horrible cut. And if you remember right, we were on uh, the base that I tried to do the speed run on, but it was disqualified because I did not, or I already had purchased the um, the uh, badges and one of the rules of the oh, what is that cutting okay that's the right one one of the rules is you can't have the badges so no speed run record that's okay it's it's been beaten since and congratulations to uh, to everyone who has ran the speed run that thing started filling up quick once we recorded it Whoa. Oh my goodness. Somebody was telling me in, in the comment section, like, Code, go to the speedrun. Code, where are the speedruns? Why aren't you speedrunning? Well, because I found out very quickly that I was wasting a bunch of time trying to get the uh, the wins. The amount of time that I was doing to try and get the, the speedruns was the same amount of time it could have taken me to make two videos. Like, I was spending hours trying to get the uh, the run down. So, I'm not going to be attempting it because, in my mind, if I continue, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to be like, I gotta get the best. Okay, where's the big one? That's Is that the big one? Here, can we just slide that? Is that, is that a thing? Hold on. Slide. It's not slide. Slide. Okay, that actually slid. <laughs> and it's still sliding. Nice. Oh. Oh, wait a second. <clears throat> no. It stops once it gets on like a flat surface. But I was thinking, what if we made uh, a really big slide and it would throw the wood off the end towards here and down towards oh that would be awesome just have it fling the wood towards the uh, towards the drop off that way it would all collect down in this little area down here and then all you'd have to do is just pick it up and sell it I would love to see somebody do that if you, if you have an idea for doing something like that with ice wood, that would be fun. All right, drop that off. 1,500, uh, 1,100 and, wow, wow. $2,000 off two pieces of wood. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna be chopping wood this episode. <laughs> lots and lots of wood. Um, what was it? 84,000 is what we're trying for. So if that was two pieces, about a thousand a piece, then I would need 84 identical pieces to that to get 84,000. And we've got some pieces that are bigger, some pieces that are smaller. And somebody in the comment section of my speedrun was like, Code, you could have just sold off the branches. You're right. You're right. 
I, I could have. The branches that didn't uh, process, or the, the trunk that didn't process, you were totally right. I could have. And I didn't. I was, I was stressing. It was a speed run. But, I digress. Um, yesterday I was talking about depression and um, bad thoughts. So today I'm going to talk about happiness and good thoughts. And the cool thing about emotions is they are temporary. Okay? If you're feeling down, if you're feeling bad, stuff like that, just keep in mind it's temporary and you'll go back to a normal state. But I also want you to keep in mind if you're happy, right? You cannot be happy constantly 100% of the time. It's just not possible. You're not going to be able to please everyone. It's just not possible. That is that is reaching for perfection that we don't have. Okay? So, just like like sadness, happiness is temporary. Joy is temporary. But it's good to have joy the majority of the time, to, to live your life to the fullest and enjoy every moment of it. That is 100% true. You should, you should absolutely do that. Be nice. Don't be evil. Um, listen to your parents, listen to authorities, all that good stuff, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> do all that other stuff too. Yeah, that's kind of important. Okay, let's just take two for now because I don't think that one's going to stay on. Well, it's doing pretty well. Okay, they settled in place fairly well. Let's just get them... Ooh, the fog looks so cool. So, um, a while back, he switched, Defaultio switched it from uh, compatibility to voxel or something like that. Or maybe he switched it to, like, shadow shading. Whatever he did, it absolutely changed the way the game looked, and I love it. And now, they have, uh, they have surface, what is it, surface light ray tracing? I saw it on the developer's forum. Whoa. That looks amazing. Like, it is an absolute piece of art that Roblox is becoming. And I, I wouldn't put it past them to keep developing Roblox to the extent of, like, really good 3D games. Where Roblox doesn't look like Roblox anymore. And I'm ready for that. I'm, I'm ready for video games that don't look like Roblox on Roblox. Oh, can you see the other side from there? Might be able to drive through there. Hold on, can we go can we go pick up our uh, our lost pieces? Hold on. I don't think it's possible. No, no, I'm gonna get stuck. Not doing it. Not doing it. You can't make me. You can't make me. Nope. Okay, there's one. Or there's two. Oh, hold on. Can we interlace that one? That's not it's not working. Hold on. Get in there, please. There you go. Nice. Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. <laughs> no. You know, I should have stopped and picked that one up. That's just going to waste a bunch of time. 
Off. 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 Come on. Off. Off. There you go. Nope. Off. Thank you. Off. Get off me. There we go. <laughs> if you're just starting out on Roblox, or if you haven't been playing very long, uh, I highly recommend a PC. Um, I know that Roblox can be played on um, on uh, tablets and on phones and on consoles and stuff like that. It really does make it a lot harder for the controllers. Um, not just in Lumber, but in a lot of the games that you play. And I know me being a programmer and being a game developer, that is one of the hardest things to compensate for because I'm constantly thinking about PCs I'm constantly thinking about oh you got to press E well there's a way to bind buttons to uh, to the screen but then you have to like create the buttons and come up with a nice design for them stuff like that so uh, some of the developers have come up with nice context pop-up buttons so they only appear when you're close to the object or something like that I like those those are those are fun Sorry, I'm just, I'm talking. I'm just a talky McTalkerson tonight. And if you didn't realize, this video is straight continuation from yesterday, so I'm actually going uh, a full hour, but splitting it into two videos. And I felt that was necessary because I know how long the hour videos can get. And it wasn't until, like, I was watching my daughter, and she does hour-long videos, I'm like, Kiddo, you know that one was two hours and 37 minutes long. Yeah? I'm like, that's bigger than a, a, a big scale uh, production movie. You know, that's longer than Star Wars. She's like, what's your point? <laughs> I'm like, it's fun and I watch it because you're my daughter and I love you, but a lot of people don't want to stick around for two hours just to watch a video. You know, well, they can continue it. Well, yeah, they could, but so it was a it, it was a big insight into my oh gosh into my own videos of how long they are. You know, well, maybe you don't know. Maybe you're new to the channel, and if you are new to the channel, welcome. We talk about all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, yeah, you thought this was just going to be a Roblox gameplay? Uh-uh. We talk about emotions. And I give you insights into my brain. The ADHD brain of Heath Hashkins, aka Code Primate. Oh, and for everyone who keeps asking, the name Code Primate, I've, I've explained this multiple times. Code Primate is not a gamer tag. It's not something that I picked myself, okay? Code Primate is my handle. And. Back in the 90s, whenever I started getting into computers and all the crazy stuff and hacking, the handle was given to me by my hacker group. They were, they were the ones that called me Programming Monkey, or Program Monkey, I don't remember. It's either Program Monkey or Programming Monkey, something like that. Well, later, they changed it to Code Prime and the number 8, like a, like a monkey, Code Primate. That's the story. I could go into details of the ACC, the anti-censorship cartel, and us uh, declassifying uh, documents and stuff like that. But I won't, you know, Fifth Amendment or something like that. I'm just kidding. None of the stuff I did, I, I, well, there could have been some things, but most of the stuff I did couldn't be criminalized for a 14-year-old, 15-year-old, so. A lot of people still ask, uh, Code, are you still a hacker? No, I'm an administrator. I am, uh, I am a developer. So I don't, I don't hack anymore. Not out of the lack of wanting to, because there's still stuff that I still get into all the time that I still use the skills that I used then, now. But more for, I have a lot more at risk 
For example, I've got a family. I've got a nice job. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a I'm a I'm a figurehead. I'm I'm a celebrity. So there's there's a lot of stuff that I just don't do anymore, you know? <sighs> a lot of people ask me if I'm uh, if I hate exploiters, and the answer is no. I do not hate exploiters. I dislike their actions and what they do sometimes, but you know, I gotta take that with a grain of salt because I was young too. I did the same things too. And you know where they led? They led me to, to being really interested in computers because I didn't want to take keyboarding class the way that people said I need to take keyboarding class. Uh, by the way, it, I think it's just called computer information systems for you guys. But, you know, it, it led to a really good path and it led to a really good interest that satisfied my ADHD brain, my mathematical brain, which I didn't realize was mathematical until later on. My son said today, he goes, I don't need math. I'm going to be a gamer. I giggled. I giggled. No, no offense, Oliver. If you're watching this uh, in the future for whatever reason, um, yes, you are going to need mathematics. And I don't think it's too much to ask for you to, to finish your math homework without complaint. And it shouldn't take you two and a half hours to do like 10 times tables. <sighs> well, not times tables, 10, 10 questions. It was, it was a ridiculous argument today, but I digress. It was fun. It was cute. Do I need math to be a gamer? Yeah, you do. Why? Well, if you're getting paid, uh, how are you going to know like how much money you get per paycheck and stuff like that and how, how to divide it out? Like you need math. Social studies, you probably don't need so much. Just saying. No offense to anybody that loves social studies out there. <coughs> now I'm going to get in trouble. Now I'm going to get letters. No. All of school is important. Okay? I know. I know for a fact. There's been some people on the internet that are like, College is a waste of time. Blah, 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 blah. You know what? College was one of the best times I ever had. But... I didn't go to college right away. I went to the Marine Corps. And then after the Marine Corps, I got a job. And it wasn't until I had like my first kid and I was married uh, and working that I said, you know what, I really need to use my GI Bill and I need to go to college and I need to get grants and I need to get this stuff taken care of because nobody was looking at me. And I mean, no one was looking at me for a computer job because I didn't have any degrees. I had no degrees. So if you ask me, why did you go to college? To get a piece of paper so somebody would look at my resume. That's it. That's it. Okay? So yes, the stuff that I learned in college was much more interesting than the stuff that I learned in school. Now, did I do school? Yes, I did. In fact, I actually did really well in school and I just didn't realize it. Because my grades were impaired because I would forget my homework or I would forget my book or I would forget to do an assignment. So I'd rush to get it done on the bus or I'd rush to get it done in the morning or I'd rush to get it done in another class. And that that's on me because I was more distracted by wanting to play video games or Dungeons and Dragons or hang out with my friends than I was in just getting the homework done. Just get it done, you know? And the same goes for work. If you've got work, like me, I've got projects, right? But once those projects are done, I am free to learn and to explore and to do whatever I want to learn more about my profession. And I gotta tell you, I really like computers. <laughs> so, when I'm at a good stopping point for the for the day or when I've got a, a good handle on what needs to be done for the next day, I will go and, and just learn what I can. I will read 
computer articles. I will read hacking manuals. I will look at the news to see what new technologies are coming out. You know, I will go study how the API functions work on the Oculus uh, Oculus Rift, so I know how to program in 3D, or I know how to program in Unity and create video games. And there's tons of tutorials out there, so feel free, learn, discover, find your interest, find that passion that you love to do. It might not be Lumber Tycoon 2. It might not be Roblox at all. It might not even be video games. But if you're watching this right now, there's some part of you that has this burning desire to do a passion, to do what you love. And you should. If you, uh, okay, and this is, this is to the parents, the ones that are listening in the background but not really paying attention, or if you're watching my channel and you're, you are a parent and, or if you're watching my channel and you're an adult and you don't have kids, whatever the case may be, I want you to know you should never settle or be stuck in a job that you don't enjoy. Okay? Yeah, but we got, we all gotta get, make money. That's fine. That's fine. Find a job that you thoroughly enjoy, even, even if your passion is lifting up lumber, uh, lifting up wood on a construction site to be placed into a building and sweating your butt all day long, coming home smelling to high heaven, just whoa, but feeling really good about it. If that is your passion, go and do it and be the best at it. Be the best that you can be at that. And that's that's the best advice I can give you. If that's what you want to do, go do it. I uh, I was presented with a question the other day, and it was it was a video chat room kind of thing, kind of like this, kind of like Discord, not kind of like YouTube. <laughs> but I hadn't been in there since, gosh. Like, I, I've been in and off, off and on to that website a couple years and stuff. And it's, it's just a social media, or social gathering video chat rooms. But I popped into a room that I'd never been in before. And one of the guys, right off the, the bat, said, Hey, you look kind of old. Do you have any life advice? Uh, and I said, yeah. Do what you love. What do you mean? I, I'm, I'm stuck in this job that I hate, blah, blah, blah. I, I've got no ed education. It takes money to do things, blah, blah, blah. Those sound like excuses. If you truly want something, if you want to be a race car driver, which is what this guy wanted to be, he wanted to be a race car driver, go do it. All right? First, start with kart racing. You know? It's not going to be very costly to get into kart racing, and you can probably afford a pretty fast one. You can you can probably find a racetrack around you somewhere that's offering some kind of lessons. Now, that's granted that you don't live up in Alaska, which probably you've got some racetracks up there too. I mean, I could I could do a Google search and see, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, my point is. If there's something that you want to learn, if there's something that you want to go and do, if there's something that is your passion, try and make that passion your job. But don't get burnt out on it. There's many times that I'm like, oh gosh, I gotta fix somebody's computer. I don't fix people's computers anymore. I started as a help desk. I started as a technician to help desk tech. And you know what? It really paid off. I learned so much, so quick, it was ridiculous. I learned more from the first two years of working at the company that I'm at than I ever did in college or in the, the four years beforehand. And you know why? Because my boss encouraged us. He said, hey, if your tickets are done, if you've got nobody on the phone, if we're down and everyone's in a good spot, go learn. Go learn whatever you want about whatever you want. And I did. I even have uh, a couple of classes on uh, 
quantum computing from IBM. Which, by the way, quantum computers are real, and you can play one at with uh, you can play with one at IBM. So that's that's pretty cool. That's fun. Uh, I've just been talking this entire time. Welcome to Good Primates Vlog. <laughs> just kidding. I'm amazed that this thing doesn't have blockage yet. Look at this. Things just going going nuts over here. Are we gonna have enough time to go back and get those other two trees? I I don't think so. Or other three trees. So just keep in mind, whatever the value is after we're done chopping this up and selling it off, there's still two more trees over there that I haven't chopped. I'm not gonna continue it on though. I, I'm tired and it's it's time. So we'll just lose out on the two trees for now. A lot of my old tutorial videos, they uh, never felt like this. They never felt as helpful as these. They got better views, and anything with the word fire accident got some pretty good views. But I have to tell you, I thoroughly enjoy this. I thoroughly enjoy giving advice, hearing feedback in the comments, and getting compliments about it. Like you guys telling me, Good job, Code. Thank you so much. You've inspired me. That's that's a passion right there. I love computers, but I like to inspire people too. Oh man, this is. You know what? Let's just go. Let's just go. We're gonna do this as fast as possible because we're starting to run out of some time. Whoa, Be Bella. Get in there, Susan. Jeffrey, Keegan, Jonathan, Rose, Tiffany. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not gonna name them all. We're dropping them off. It's cool. Okay, that's good for now. I don't. I don't want anything sliding out the back here. Ooh, that's a lot. So a lot of people ask me all the time, like, Code, how do you um, get so much money? Well, I can tell you right now, it's not like this. This is the slow way. What you do is you get yourself a bunch of fans who really love your channel and give you millions of donations. <laughs> and that's the honest truth. A lot of people are like, Code, do you hack? No, I, I don't hack. I, I do not exploit on Lumber Tycoon 2. I have a lot of people who just give me a lot of stuff. And I mean, I've, I've even got offers within the last couple of days, like, Code, uh, I don't really use my base anymore. Do you want all my stuff? No. <laughs> I've got I've got way too much like stuff on my base that it, it gets all messed up and junked. So I'm going to try and keep this one clean because it shouldn't have any kind of outside influences. Hopefully it stays clean. If I know me and my ADHD brain, it, it will, oh, come on. It won't stay clean. So there's no pretending like I'm going to clean it. Now what was that one guy doing the, the, in the speed run? He was like, jumping. Hold on, how did you do that? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. That doesn't seem very accurate, but it's pretty fun. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That was fun. We're at $12,000. Wow. We might not need to get the, uh, the bigger sawmill. Just saying. We get this much money off this many trees this quickly. Ooh, ooh, that's a big one. That's a big one there. Hold on, you're you're gonna ride up front. You're gonna ride up front with me. You just sit right there. Good. 
Hope that stays. Probably won't stay. There we go. We're just about, oh, 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 we're just about done. Ugh. I think Lumber Tycoon 2 is great for getting away from the world and relaxing for a little bit, you know, taking your mind off something. So if you've got a big test coming up or something like that, um, study first off, but after you've studied, take a moment to relax, to go, uh oh to go jump inside lumber or go jump inside Roblox and play something that you want. Play something that you like. Something that relaxes you. Whatever that you is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wow. Wow, that piece just went flying. Come on back. Nice. Caught it. Caught it in mid-flight. Just kidding. It wasn't flying. The boxes are going crazy. They're like freaking out. Stop moving. Stop moving. Oh, you're causing it, aren't you? The physics are going crazy. How much is it for a big truck? Is it like 1900 or something like that? Or 96,000? I don't remember. But we'll have to get it next time. I've already hit that 30 minute mark and I, I promised I was going to get all of this sold off. Mm. So, if you've watched the speed run, go and get yourself the Rookie Axe. It's not that hard. Once you have a rookie axe and a little car like this, go up, go up and spend about 30 minutes to chop down a bunch of trees, and another 30 minutes to go and sell all those trees off. Remember to take two sets of dynamite with you, or three sets of dynamite, and then bring it back, sell it off in the shabby, and make some money. Money, 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 money. Money. Oof, oof. There we go. Almost done. Almost done. Can we get it all in one run? I think we can. I think we can. Thank you very much. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oof. That's one that didn't get planked. I know I feel bad. Every time a saw goes off, a lumber gets its wings. Sorry, a lot of you probably won't get that reference. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. That's from uh, It's a Wonderful Life with Dick Van Dyke. Is, it, is that right? Okay, Google. Who played in It's a Wonderful Life? It's a Wonderful Life has a cast of 34 actors. Here are the first three. James Stewart, Frank Capra, and Donna Reed. James Stewart. My bad. Never mind. That's not Dick Van Dyke. James Stewart. I think he played in another one that I really like, which was called Harvey. I don't know. I didn't know any of these actors whenever I was little. My, uh... My mom, she showed him to me. Harvey. Harvey was another one. Okay, Google. Who played in the movie Harvey? James Stewart. According to some James information Stewart. I found Same on guy. Wikipedia. James Stewart was uh, pretty cool. You know one thing that I don't have? Hey, Alexa. How many of you have an Alexa and you had the volume turned up? <laughs> That's funny. If you do, I just probably said it off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, Alexa! 
order 32 floaties from Amazon. Confirm. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get letters. Water floaties. People are gonna be like, why is there 32 water floaties? And why is there a charge on my card? No reason. It's just code. He's trolling again. <clears throat> of course, I, I think. Hey, Cortana. Hey, Cortana. Did that set anything off? I don't know if anybody's got voice recognition turned on for Cortana. I think we've all agreed that Cortana and Bixby are kind of the worst assistants ever. No offense. If you like Cortana or if you like Bixby, you you do you. But I'm I'm not convinced. Now oh, those little pieces really were not worth it, were they? Thirty-three thousand one hundred and seventy-six. Thirty-three thousand. Now how much is it for? Uh, what is this one? That's the Sol Max O2. For twenty-two thousand five hundred, Salmax O one for eleven hundred eleven thousand twenty-two thousand five hundred eighty-six thousand five hundred. That is that is a massive, massive amount of money. Don't think so. We can we can do the the tiny one, the tiny one for now, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to uh, bid you adieu because I've gone way over my time that I was supposed to. In fact, that was much longer than we were supposed to. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Think the uh, the idea of doing a new base for the new year with a new me is a good idea with a new new list. Ugh. Leave your comments down below. I want to hear them. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out like a good YouTuber does, but yeah, I'm not a good YouTuber. I just do it because uh, YouTube says to. Wait, that's a good YouTuber, right? I don't know. Whatever the case may be. If you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, that's cool too. I'm just calling it out. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.